Yeah, I know I'm wearing a Bucks hat. What's up, everybody? Christian Miller here. I, I honestly don't know what to say about this. Brother is a moron. Anyway, it is official. Tom Brady has signed with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, here's the thing. Tom Brady is a great quarterback. But let's be honest, unless you're a Patriots fan, heck, even probably some Patriots fans are out, out there, we're sick of Tom Brady, right? Now, I think it's a great thing for Tampa Bay in the sense that he's a great quarterback. I'm not trying to take anything away from him. I'm happy that we have the GOAT on our team, um, as they call him. I mean, listen, he's won six Super Bowls. That's the most of any, uh, really any quarterback in the league. Um, he's won six Super Bowls, all with the Patriots. Um, he, I mean, people saw this coming in the sense that uh, we saw him eventually leaving or retiring from New England. Uh and they're paying him $30 million a year, which I think he's... He might even be worth more than that, uh, if you ask me. Um, let's take a look back. I mean, listen, he's been the Super Bowl MVP four times. He's won the MVP of the league uh, three times. He's won six Super Bowls. Um, first team All-Pro three times. Uh, I mean, I could go on. What has this guy not accomplished in his career? And obviously the fact that he not only is done with the Patriots, but is, uh, you know, he's not done. In, he's done with the Patriots. He's not done with football. I, obviously he's a guy that wants to keep winning Super Bowls. Is he the guy, though? I mean, is he making a mistake to sign with Tampa Bay? As a Bucks fan, I'm happy. I mean, we get a guy who is so talented. He is a playmaker. Right, I'm kind of 50-50 because on one hand, we're talking about Tom Brady. Won six Super Bowls with one of the greatest NFL coaches of all time in Bill Belichick. But at the same time, I'm one of those people. Tom Brady gets annoying. I mean, listen, this whole, he's the best. Tom Brady's won six Super Bowls. Tom Brady this, Tom Brady that. It gets annoying after a while, honestly. And... A lot of a lot of people expected him to sign with a team like the Chargers or um, um, what was another? A, a, a couple people said he would sign with Miami. Uh, that that wasn't going to happen. They're going to draft a quarterback. Obviously, I think that uh, I I just think that <sighs> he had quite a few teams he could have chose to sign with, and he. And he signed with my Buccaneers. Uh, uh, people expected him to be with the Chargers, the Raiders, and the Titans, or the Bucks. Those were the four teams, I think, that were rumored he would land there. Uh, a lot of people have been saying the past few years, oh, he's going to retire. He's going to... Uh, he won't be there much longer. I'm surprised. Listen, he's, what did he say? I want to retire when I'm 45. He's like 43 right now. Um, and, and they just they just agreed to sign him. Let me let me look back at this. What are they paying him? I just want to double check here because I shared it on Facebook. I, I I literally shared it on Facebook. I I said I don't know what to say because on one hand we're getting one of the best quarterbacks in the league without question. Um, thirty million a year. I missed how um, how many years they signed him to. I don't think it's a whole lot. What? Someone let me know. But this is going to be interesting to see in Tampa Bay next year. I'm honestly looking forward to it because it's Tom Brady. You want him to go make a play? He's going to go make a play. I well, the only thing that annoys me is like. Man, Tom Brady, the guy that everyone hypes up, talks about, a guy that's winning every other year in the Super Bowl, 
right? A guy that is always making the playoffs and people just won't stop talking about this guy. He doesn't have a whole lot of years left in him, right? He said, oh, I want to retire when I'm like 45 or 50 or something. Eh, it's not too far off, Tom. That, that. But anyway, I, I just wanted to give my thoughts on this. I'm going to do a live stream. Uh, I plan on doing a live stream uh, tomorrow afternoon or maybe around 2 or 3, something like that, just to talk some NFL free agency because there's been a lot of trades, a lot of sign, signings, quite a few more outside of this. Uh, a lot could happen overnight too in the morning. Um, so join me around maybe 2, 3 o'clock, and um, I'll talk some uh, NFL free agency. Not a guarantee that I do a live stream, but uh, good possibility. So I'll talk some more about this then. Um, wow. I, I mean, listen, of all the teams, and listen, the Bucks are a team that we know they're not great, but – you know, what they've been the past couple of years, they've been decent. You know, they're one of those teams that's like – and they improved this year, uh, to be honest with you. They What they do? 5-11 and 11 the past two seasons or something, 7-9 and nine this year, 8-8, eight, eight and eight, whatever we went. But uh, So quite a bit of improvement there as far as uh, what we won. Uh, and it was Arian's first year, and he's a quarterback whisperer. But what more, I guess the question is what more could Bruce Arians do to help Tom Brady? Because Tom Brady's accomplished a lot. Six Super Bowls, MVP, like, what, four times or something. And uh, so he, he's just done so much with Belichick and the Patriots and everything. So uh, to Tom Brady, welcome aboard, uh, I guess. And uh, don't mess us up. So, uh, <laughs> we'll see. Uh, still no word on Jameis Winston as well. Uh, we don't, no one has signed him. I, I don't, this would have to mean that they're getting rid of Winston. Right? Because you got to think. You can't start both of these guys. Tom Brady's going to be the starting quarterback for Tampa next year. Right? Uh, which means Jameis has to be out, unless you're going to make him the second string, or Arians might do something stupid and not start Tom Brady over Winston. Anyway, I don't know. I'll get into more of that tomorrow. I'll do a live stream again uh, to talk some free agency, some trades, some signings, all that stuff, uh, as we've seen today. So there's a lot more where this came from. But I just wanted to get on here, give you my thoughts, uh, welcome to Tampa Bay, Tom Brady, I guess, you know, so, uh, please don't mess this up. Please, please do not mess this up. <laughs> anyway, uh, go Bucks, uh, roll tide, and, uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys next time. Until then, Ballard Sports Media, check it out. Go Bucks. <laughs>